Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. From changing our knowledge of the universe's age to providing a literal glimpse into the past, the James Webb Telescope has constantly challenged our understanding of the cosmos. And with the recent discovery of these six mysterious primordial galaxies, scientists are once again left with the task of changing their models of the universe. What are these new galaxies? How did the James Webb Space Telescope find them? And what are the implications of these discoveries? Join us as we explore how the James Webb Telescope detected a structure that shouldn't exist. The study of the universe on its grandest scales, which is the realm of cosmology, is an exciting and ever-expanding field of inquiry. As our technology advances, so does our ability to probe the depths of space, revealing new and awe-inspiring wonders. At the forefront of this cosmic exploration stands the James Webb Space Telescope, named after the astronomer James E. Webb, and is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built. What makes this telescope special and amazing? The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built. It is an infrared telescope, meaning that it is designed to detect light in the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. The James Webb Space Telescope's primary mirror is 6.5 meters in diameter, three times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope's mirror. This means that JWST can collect four times as much light as Hubble, allowing it to see fainter and more distant objects. The James Webb Space A Telescope's mission seeks to transform our understanding of the universe. It aims to unravel the mysteries of the universe's formation, shedding light on the birth of stars and galaxies, the evolution of cosmic structures, and the presence of potentially habitable exoplanets. By observing distant objects that emit light in the infrared spectrum, the James Webb Space Telescope can penetrate dust clouds that obscure visible light, revealing hidden depths of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to detect faint, distant galaxies has already yielded groundbreaking discoveries. In July 2022, the telescope captured images of galaxies that existed just 620 million years after the Big Bang, the farthest galaxies ever observed. These observations push our understanding of the early universe to new frontiers, revealing the first galaxies that emerged from the primordial chaos. As part of its mission to look back in time and observe the origin, nature, and formation of galaxies and search for exoplanets, the James Webb Space Telescope has recently discovered six new galaxies. These newly discovered galaxies have captivated the attention of astronomers worldwide, offering absurdly improbable glimpses into the earliest days of our universe. These galaxies, described in a new study based on Webb's first data release, are so far away that they appear only as tiny reddish dots to the powerful telescope. By analyzing the light emitted by these galaxies, astronomers established that they were viewing them in our universe's infancy, only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Such early galaxies are not in themselves surprising. Astronomers expected that the first star clusters sprung up shortly after the universe moved out of the period generally referred to as the Dark Ages. This is about the first 400 million years of its existence, when only a thick fog of hydrogen atoms permeated space. But the galaxies found in James Webb, images appeared shockingly big, and their stars were too old. According to experts, the new findings conflict with existing ideas of how the universe looked and evolved in its early years, and don't match earlier observations made by Webb's less powerful predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Previous studies of the early universe with Hubble and other instruments tend to find small blue baby galaxies at early times, objects which have just recently formed out of the primordial cosmic soup and are themselves building their early stars and structures. In general, young stars shine bright blue. As they age, these stars develop a redder glow as they burn through their fuel and cool down. But in the ancient galaxies that Webb was built to spot, astronomers had not expected to see old red stars. Adding to the mystery, they also had not expected to find galaxies more massive than perhaps a billion suns. But those reddish dots revealed in Webb's deep fields appear 50 times more massive than that. 
the most massive galaxies in our sample are expected to have masses two to four times lower than that of our own Milky Way. Scientists were thus shocked to find out that some of these galaxy candidates are as massive as our own galaxy, when the universe was 3% of its current age. These discoveries are as amazing as they come. To have scientists already challenged to rewrite their theories about the early universe, just a little over six months after the Webb team released the first observations from the Grand Observatory, is unthinkable. Scientists claim that while the objects so far do appear to be galaxies, there is a real possibility that some of the entities they found could be supermassive black holes. But even if it turns out that some of the six objects they found are black holes, it still shows an astounding change, according to experts. Regardless of subsequent reporting, the amount of mass discovered shows that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to 100 times greater than scientists had previously thought. The idea that massive galaxy formation began extremely early in the history of the universe upends what many astronomers had thought was settled science. According to the study, they have been informally calling these objects universe breakers, and they have been living up to their names so far. Now let's jump into the details of what these six galaxies are and how they challenge our previously thought beliefs. The first galaxy, GNZ6, is remarkably different from the others, as it exhibits a surprising redshift, a measure of how much an object's light is stretched due to the expansion of the universe. This galaxy's redshift is slightly lower than expected for a galaxy at its distance, suggesting that it may be located in a region of the universe with a slightly slower expansion rate. The second galaxy, GNZ7, is exceptionally rich in dust, a component crucial for planet formation. Dust particles are known to provide the building blocks for rocky planets, and their presence in this galaxy indicates that planetary systems may have begun forming in the early universe. This ultimately raises the possibility of other habitable planars. Now how exciting is that? Third one on the list is GNZ8, a galaxy characterized by a structured disk, a feature that challenges existing models of galaxy formation. Disks are thought to arise from gravitational interactions within galaxies, but the early universe was too turbulent for such disks to form. This galaxy's existence suggests that disk formation may have occurred earlier than previously thought, potentially altering our understanding of galaxy evolution. GNZ9, the fourth galaxy located in the same region as the previous one, showcases abundant heavy elements like oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. These elements, essential for life as we know it, were forged in the hearts of massive stars that explode as supernovae, enriching the surrounding interstellar medium. The presence of heavy elements in this galaxy suggests that star formation and supernovae were already occurring in the early universe, a crucial step toward the emergence of life. The fifth galaxy is named GNZ10 and is located approximately 13 billion light-years away. It exhibits a level of brightness that is beyond what astronomers expected to see, outshining theoretical predictions by nearly 100 times. This has caused astronomers to suggest that it may house a population of stars forming at an accelerated rate. This phenomenon could rewrite our understanding of the early universe's star formation processes. And lastly, the sixth galaxy is a remarkably compact and massive one. Designated GNZ 11, it holds the distinction of being the most distant galaxy ever observed. Its light, traveling for over 13 billion years, reached Earth when the universe was just 330 million years old. Despite its early formation, GNZ 11 is surprisingly compact, with a size similar to our Milky Way galaxy. However, in a shocking and puzzling turnaround, its mass is 89 times greater than that of the Milky Way, suggesting that star formation in the early universe may have proceeded much faster than previously thought. Discovering these early galaxies has necessitated revisions to existing cosmological models. These models need to account for the earlier formation of galaxies, the accelerated star formation rates, and the presence of heavy elements in the early universe. These observations have pushed us to rethink our existing theories and models, leading to a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the universe. More importantly, the discoveries of these early galaxies have highlighted the interconnectedness of different areas of cosmology. By studying galaxy formation and evolution, we gain insights into the behavior of dark matter and dark energy, the chemical evolution of the universe, and the potential for life beyond Earth.
This would require that future cosmological studies strive to unify these different arrays, helping to develop a comprehensive understanding of the universe from its earliest moments to its present state. This will require collaboration between astronomers, physicists, and other scientists, leading to a deeper appreciation of the cosmos's grandeur and complexity. With these discoveries and many more expected to come through in the coming years, scientists and astronomers might find themselves going back to the drawing board and rethinking our generally accepted ideas and theories about the universe and how it works. That actually won't be bad.